What's cooking guys? Welcome back to A La Carte with Alex where I'm helping you cook up quick, easy, and delicious food one plate at a time. And uh, my wife and I, we've been binge watching Young Sheldon on TV. Big Bang Theory has always been one of our favorite shows. And uh, today we're going to be making Mima's secret brisket recipe. That's right. Uh, the recipe has been burned into Sheldon's eidetic memory. My brain is better than everybody! And we have most of that recipe. So, gonna make a few adjustments to it, but let's get cooking. I know Meemaw's brisket recipe. What? No, you don't. Yes, I do. So according to Sheldon's eidetic memory, uh, Mima's brisket consists of one, one tablespoon, tablespoon of cumin, cumin one, one cup, cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of smoked papery, three tablespoons of dried mustard, one cup of Lone Star beer. Okay, stop. okay, okay, stop. No, 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 keep going. Most brisket recipes, there's not a very common uh, flavor profile that goes with it. It varies so much. There's so many different versions. And so I want to stick true to what we know and then just add in, you know, some of the basics, which is salt and pepper. Now, I could only find a one pound brisket at the store, so that's what we're gonna go with. Okay, so in prepping our brisket, what we're gonna do is we are actually just gonna trim off some of that fat. There's not a lot on this piece, but we're just gonna take off a little bit of that because that's not gonna render down in our slow cooker. Or, that's not gonna render down in our uh, smoker. Okay, so for grinding up pepper, I find this is a nice little trick if you have a handheld grinder, uh, kind of similar to the one that I have, is that you get a little ramekin or a little cup and you grind into that that little uh, cup until you get enough of your pepper. Now for the salt, we're gonna use a half a teaspoon of it, and we're gonna use a half a tablespoon of pepper. So we're gonna take our dry spices and we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna mix them up and make this into our nice rub that we're gonna marinate our brisket in overnight. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out our brisket and lay it out nice and flat. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our dry rub and we're gonna sprinkle that over the top. We wanna make sure that we cover all of this meat with our dry rub. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get both sides. We're gonna get the top, the bottom, the sides. We're gonna pat it down, kind of squish it in there, get the ends that we miss. We just want this thing completely covered in, in spice. Okay. And then we're gonna take our Ziploc bag, we're gonna put our brisket in there, we're gonna try and get all of the air out that we can, and we're gonna let this marinate for at least, and I mean at least, 24 hours. And I couldn't actually find Lone Star beer. Yeah, I've tried, I tried so hard to do it. It's really tough to find out here in California. Um, and I couldn't justify buying an entire case and spending all the money to ship it over here. So I went ahead and I found the most Texas beer I could. That's right, get it. <laughs> No, I'm kidding, please. Uh, so what I actually did was I you know, did my research and I found the only Texas beer that I could find in any of the stores that were you know, local to us here, and that's the Shiner Bock. So it's a nice amber ale uh, made in Texas and distributed out here into California. And uh, I honestly, I, I think it's a great flavor. I, I think it'll be a nice addition to this brisket. Okay, so now that this is marinated for 24 hours, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this into our little tray here that's safe for our smoker. And you can see that a lot of the juices uh, from the meat have been pulled out, and we're just gonna make sure that we cover this piece of meat and all of that delicious goodness. We're gonna jauntily take this out to our smoker. Now we're gonna set that smoker to 275 degrees, and then we're gonna go ahead and set our timer for 30 minutes. That's when we're gonna come back, we're gonna check it, and we're gonna add a little bit of moisture to it to make sure that it doesn't get too dry. And while that is uh, in the in our smoker cooking away, we're gonna take our Shiner Buck and we're actually gonna add it to a water bottle. Now in, in the show, we actually see Sheldon's dad spraying the brisket down with some sort of liquid. Now I'm assuming that's the beer. Uh, they didn't really give us a step-by-step, -step, so I'm just gonna assume that it's the beer here and then we're actually gonna add that in later on. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Ooh, that's a lot of smoke. Okay, so we can see our brisket. It's coming along very nicely. And so we're gonna grab our little Mr. Bottle here and we're just gonna spray it down with a little bit of our Shiner Bock to make sure that it stays moist. Now, you really don't have to worry about this too much with the one pound brisket, but I don't wanna skip this step. 
and you might need that a little bit more with a, a, a bigger piece of meat. And you can see it's already at uh, 75 degrees. Okay, so before we continue, if you guys like using a smoker or if you guys are big on, you know, smoking meat and just enjoying the smoky goodness, make sure that you guys check out my smoked burger uh, video. I mean, I know it's a little bit strange, it's a little bit odd to smoke a hamburger, but guys, it is so juicy, so tender, so delicious. And if you guys need a dessert, you guys should check out my uh, molten lava cake. I'll go ahead and uh, leave a card up here at the top. You will not regret it. So go ahead, check out that video, and uh, let's get back to get back to Mima's brisket. Okay, so our meat has been in there for the full 30 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take that out, and we're gonna add it to uh, some double-lined tin foil. Now be careful, it's very hot. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna wrap that up as airtight as we can. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna scrunch the sides, and then we're gonna add our one cup of quote-unquote Lone Star beer. And then make sure that we get that extremely tight, getting all the air out as, as much as we can. And we, you know, we might actually grab another piece of tinfoil to make sure that this doesn't leak too, too much. Now I'm gonna leave that thermometer in there just to make sure that we come up to temperature. Uh, you don't have to if you want to eyeball it and you want to pull it out later and put the temperature in. I just kind of like to take a look at it as, as it cooks. Okay, so now it is the moment of truth. Our brisket is fully cooked, up to temperature. I probably cooked it a little bit too long, uh, but gosh, does this not look gorgeous, guys. Look at that brisket. Just, you want it to be melt in your mouth, but it looks amazing. You can see that steam coming off of it. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. It's my first time making a brisket. We'll do a little happy dance. There you go, look at that. Look at that tender piece of meat. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Make sure that you save those juices. You're gonna want that later. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our meat and then we're going to slice. Make sure you slice against the grain just like you would any uh, other piece of meat or steak. And look at that. I barely have to push down on that. That's how tender this is. Look at that gorgeous pink center. Now that is fully cooked with smoking meat, you might have, the meat comes out a little bit pinker. So don't be afraid of the, like that pink. Gosh, look at that, I barely have, I don't even have to slice, this just pushes in, that's how tender this thing is. And there we go, look at that, here, let me, oh, let me give it, all right, let me give that a little try. Mm. Oh gosh, that's so good. Guys, this, oh, this is so good. Oh my gosh, uh, I'm gonna, I'm definitely finishing this, oh my gosh. Oh, that is just melt in your mouth goodness. I mean, gosh, guy, Mima, Mima has it going on. Let me tell you, Mima, your recipe does not disappoint. All right, I want you guys to see this. Look at this. It just pulls apart. Like you don't have to really cut this. That's how tender this meat is. And that's the beauty of low and slow guys is you get such tender meat. I mean, it just falls apart. Oh, all right, we'll put a little bit of barbecue sauce with this and we'll be good to go. I mean, I can't stop eating this thing as you guys, as you guys can see, I just, I can't stop, I can't put it down. All right, well thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, if you if you did, go ahead, hit that like button down below, leave a comment, let me know uh, other types of meat that you guys like to smoke and cook. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys subscribe so you're never missing out on a video that I'm coming out with next. And uh, I hope that you guys are staying full and staying healthy. Bye guys. Mm. Ah, damn.